Yeah, uh, it's one of, I would say, probably the only course I kind of feel like a veteran on because um, I I happen to play the World Amateur Team Championships there in 2000 and well, would that be 2016 maybe? Um, and I had some good rounds there and I think Norway had uh, the best showing in that tournament ever tied for fifth, I believe. Uh, so I have some good memories from there. And I actually played my first PJ Tour uh, event as an amateur at Mayakoba. Uh I missed a cut by shot, but really loved the place. And of course, fits me pretty pretty well, I think. Um, I come back the next year, first time as a pro, I missed a cut again by a shot. Um, and this year I was I was pretty, uh, uh, I was pretty, uh, I had an appetite for, for revenge. Um, and I felt like I was playing well. I made some really good changes, and I uh, just kind of stuck to the game plan. And and um, the first, pr- pretty much the first 36 holes, I didn't really make that many putts. And I told my caddy Shay, I was like, "Man, I'm I'm hitting it really good. I just wish I could, you know, have one of these weeks where I'm putting the putting and the long game together, and I'd be in contention, you know, uh, fighting for a win." And, um, you know, I was, I think at the time after 36 holes, Emiliano had really played well. And I was maybe seven shots behind, which, which is a lot on a golf course like that because everyone's making birdies and it's hard to out birdie people uh, when you get to courses like that. But um, kind of just stuck to the game plan again. And, and um, over the weekend, I, I happened to put the long game together with uh, the putter kind of coming alive and and uh started making some birdies